Well, guys, now one final case to analyze whenever we're doing equations with absolute values is when both sides of the equation have an absolute value where the variable is inside. It's no big deal. You will see it's simple. You can see some more examples in the book, but I just wanted to do this exercise with you to show you that it's no big deal, okay? Whenever this happens, we're just going to do this. We're going to get rid of the absolute value bar on uh, both cases, on both sides, okay? But this time, this expression will be either the positive side of it, which is n plus 9, and the other possibility is that we are going to rewrite this expression on the left just as it is with the negative option of this expression. Be careful. The negative option of something is when you multiply that positive by negative 1, which means you do this negative 1 multiplied by n plus 9, right? Which uh, we can easily solve now. Let's take a look and solve this equation. Now you're familiar with this, you can easily solve it. Take a look. We subtract n, so you get 2n minus 11 equals 9. We add 11, so it's 2n equals 20, so n equals 10. Done, right? Now, be careful over here. When I wrote this, it's the same thing as if you did the negative form of n plus 9, okay? And now we're going to deal with that. It's pretty simple, but just be careful, okay? I'm going to move this a little bit. So look, so 3n minus 11 equals negative outside the parentheses just changes the signs of everything that is inside. So it's negative n and negative 9. And now you just can move on. Look, we are going to get rid of this minus n by adding n on both sides. So you get 4n minus 11 equals, this one's gone, minus 9. And now 4n equals, <clears throat> we are adding 11 on this side, so it's going to be a 2. So in the end, n equals 1 half. So as you can see, it's no big deal. Just make sure that whatever is right here, and when you're getting rid of the absolute value bars, you keep the positive form of this expression and the negative form of that expression. Solve for the variable, and then you got it, okay?